Where am I? Oh, you finally woken up. <laughs> um, Clips? Mm-hmm. You're huge. <laughs> no, other way around. I'm, I'm shrunken? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? No, this is terrifying. What happened to me? Oh, oh, no, 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 not terrifying at all. I did it. You shrunk me. Yeah, it's not as terrifying as finding you like that. Why? why oh, slow down. Why did you do this? Well, I mean, I, I couldn't, no, I, I, I couldn't let them have you. That's insane. Let, let who have me? The, all the others. I, I couldn't let that happen. You really need to start explaining yourself. Well, you know, you're so good in class and everything, and, you know, there's there's people starting to notice you, and I, 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 I can't have that. Notice me? Yeah. Nobody's going to notice me anymore. I'm three inches tall. That's the point. What? <laughs> well, when you're so small, how are... How are you supposed to get noticed by anyone? Then I can have you all to myself. Uh, we we don't even really talk. What do you mean all to yourself? What? <laughs> oh, don't be silly. What do you mean we barely talk? I mean, you talked to me three days ago in class. Three days ago. You dropped your pencil and picked it up for you. Yeah, and then you said, here you go. And I said, thank you. And, you know... <laughs> So how are you going to get me back to normal? Oh, you don't. I can't stay like this. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess having a miniature boyfriend wouldn't be the best. So... Can you I'm... stop wringing your hands? I'm in the palm of your hand. What? Just settle down. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm not, like, wringing my hands. I'm just, you know. It's really nerve-wracking. Well, I'm nervous. Okay, but your fingers are huge compared to me. Well, I just, you know, it's, it's, it's... Okay, okay, listen. I need you to put me back to regular size and let me go back to class. No, no. <laughs> See, you're you're not understanding. You, you you can't. You can't go back. I won't let you. You won't let me. Absolutely not. Because because if <sighs> No. No. Nothing will no. It will not be the same. I, I don't think you understand. I, I need you to just fix me and... Are you okay? You seem to be getting angrier. It's, it's fine. It's If you go back, then you won't forgive me. And I can't have that. I mean, I'd be much more inclined to forgive you if you just undid this thing that happened and made me normal again. Okay. Then what do I do about the others? What? You, you know, like Cassidy and Megan and Sean and um... <sighs> Why are you talking about them? Well, <laughs> um, Sean your best friend uh he tried to stop me so you know he he had to be shrunken too because you know he would tell people and you know your <laughs> your sister megan um she 
you know, she, she was looking for you and I can't have her asking questions and your girlfriend, oh, your, your ex, she's your ex now, okay? <laughs> you can't love her. You can't. Can, can, okay, number one, I need you to calm down. Number two, stop making a fist over top of me like that. <laughs> no, 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 no. You, you don't understand. <laughs> will you... Eclipse? Will you promise me... Promise me... That you love me more than Cassidy. You're shaking your giant fist at me. Is this... A negotiation? Or is this a threat? Uh, hmm... You know, I, I, I can't use the word threat because that that wouldn't be true but there is also there there is no other option so i i don't think you're understanding the problem here is we can't be together because i'm with cassidy no no you're not you're with me now I'm tiny and in the palm of your hand, but... And we can work this out. You know, I mean, all couples fight sometimes. Couples don't shrink one another. So you admit it, we're a couple. Yay! <sighs> Look, where is my sister, my girlfriend, and... That goddamn idiot, Sean. Why are you so worried about them? I mean, it's it's very endearing that you worry about them, but you don't need to. You were just threatening to crush me under your hand. No. I was just upset, that's all. I would never do that to you. You were shaking your fist over top of me. Is everyone else okay? Yeah, of course. You haven't hurt them? No. Then I'm sure you'll have no problem with showing me where they are. <sighs> okay, fine. If it'll ease your mind. Just walk over to the shelf here. There, see them? They're in the glass jars. I poked holes in the tops of them so that they can breathe. They're fine. Cassidy, are you okay? <laughs> Oh my god. Jake, what's happening? What? She's fine. How am I supposed to know that? She's just panicking, that's all. It's okay. Look, let them out of that jar right now. Why? You want us to be friends, right? I need you to trust me. <laughs> we don't need to be friends. We're a couple. Okay, then why wouldn't you want to do this for me? You'd want to do this for me, wouldn't you? See, if I let them out, then they'll get between us. <laughs> There's no way anything could come between us at this size. <laughs> Well, they would get hurt if I let them out at that size. Why would they get hurt? I'm fine, so far. <laughs> okay, but <laughs> they could, I don't know, get run over by a car or something, eaten by a pigeon? We're in your room! Yeah, and I'm not letting them out. <laughs> Let me out, you cycle bitch. Absolutely not. Especially when you're not being very friendly to me. It sounds like Cassidy doesn't want to be in there. How about you just let her out? No. That's only one person. That's okay. She can pound on the glass all she wants, but it's not going to break. It's not going to tip. It's not going to fall off the shelf. And I highly doubt that you want to fall from way up there. I mean, 
I could fall from up here if you're not going to listen to me. <laughs> you wouldn't want that now, would you? Here I am, standing right on the edge. Right on the edge of no. your camera. <laughs> I will Dear. hold your body in place. You're squeezing me too hard. You can uh. breathe. You can breathe. But that's it. I have your arms by your sides, so you can't do anything anymore. You almost broke my ribs. Yeah, well, I had to do what I had to do in order to make you behave. Look, I need you to let them out. They have nothing to do with whatever's going on here trying to negotiate isn't going to help you. <laughs> Brother? Brother? Brother, I'm scared. Do you see what I mean? There's nothing wrong with letting them out. And we're not negotiating. Couples talk things through. That's what we're doing now, isn't it, Eclipse? it through mm -hmm. okay as long as Megan promises that she won't say anything then I wouldn't mind keeping an eye on her while she's out there with okay. your parents my parents are here no 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 <laughs> your parents have no idea what's going on Actually, they're probably going to be filing missing persons reports soon, but if I let Megan go tell them that you're okay and that you ran away, then that would, that would help. <laughs> you, you can do that, right, Megan? Right? Nod. Nod through the glass. <laughs> See? See? She's fine. She, she agrees. <laughs> Okay, well then, um, I don't know how to do this without two hands, um, put okay. Put me down, I promise I won't do anything, okay? Oh, here, I will put you on this sticky trap so you what? can't move. There. Okay, grab the mason jar and unscrew it, you see? Okay? And there's the lid. Okay? Come on, Megan. <laughs> Brother! Brother, please! No, you're... you're going outside. Okay? Oh, I guess I gotta put you to regular size. You know what? I will set a timer for you being regular size. You'll run as far as you can away. And just remember... You say anything, and you're dead, okay? <laughs> okay, well, you better start running then. <laughs> what, what do you mean? You wouldn't hurt Megan, would you? Well, I mean... <laughs> If she doesn't say anything, then I won't need to squish her like a bug. What? It all depends on her. It's not okay to shrink people and kill them. Well, <laughs> I mean, I, I guess, but you know, if anyone comes between us, then I don't have a choice. Do your thing and let her go, okay? Okay. I'll still be watching her, though. Megan, you know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Go home. Let them know everything's fine. I'm just apparently having a rendezvous with my new girlfriend. Okay. I love you, big brother. I love you too. Okay, go on. Okay. <laughs>
Oh, look at her run across the floor. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know how I'm getting out of this thing. Hmm. You know, I think I'll keep you there for a little bit. <laughs> Fine. Anyway. Okay, so what about the rest of them? Mm. You know... Hmm. I really... I can't let them go because they don't have that childlike innocence that would keep their mouths shut. Look, they're fine, okay? There, there's nothing wrong here. Obviously, I understand. You feel very strongly about this. So everything's fine. Hopefully my ribs will heal. Everything is fine. No matter what, it'll be fine. I mean, really. Who would find the bodies? Where's the evidence? I don't think you understand how my feelings for you might change if you hurt my friends. I mean, you don't really have much of a choice. <laughs> because you love me. I'm sure I can make an exception. Now, just let them out. Oh, I'll let them out. <laughs> Good. That's all I'm asking for. I'll also let the cats in. No. <sighs> Look. <laughs> Do what I'm asking you to do. You're in no position to give me commands. <laughs> Although, it is kind of cute how you think that you are. You want me to be with you, right? And you will be. But the thing is, this is something that would make me happy. Don't you want me to be happy? Mm hmm Okay, fine. <sighs> All right, come here, Cassidy. <sighs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, look at her tumble around in the jar. <laughs> Just take her out, please. Well, since you asked so nicely, fine. I'll unscrew the lid. And flick it off. <laughs> the lid's open. You can come out. She's not going to come out if you have your mouth basically pressed up against the top of the lid. You know I can't climb glass, you stupid bitch. <laughs> You're in no position to talk to me like that. <laughs> I'll talk to you however I want. You literally cornered me in an alleyway. No, oh, no, no. Don't go spreading rumors about me. He might think differently. Cassidy, just do what she wants. <laughs> See? Even he's telling you to do what I say. <laughs> she is right, though. You could kind of tip the jar a little bit. That might help. <laughs> Yeah. Tip. 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 <laughs> She's gonna fall. <laughs> Why are you holding it up so high? Well, oh, you're clinging to that last little lip of glass that you have. I thought you wanted out of the jar. How about I shake it? Eclipse? <laughs> Stop it. What are you doing? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you are trying to protect her, and I won't have that. <laughs> you caring about her? Absolutely not. <laughs> Don't you dare! <laughs> See? You fell into my hand. You're safe. 
<laughs> See, everything's fine. Here, let me take you off the trap. There. Just put you on the desk. Okay. And the mason jar over you. What? Why? <laughs> Why are you doing this? Well, you can't go anywhere. And now you two can say your final goodbyes. <laughs> what are you talking about? Cassidy, no. <laughs> How dare you? You won't get away with this. And who's to say that I already haven't? <laughs> Eclipse, what are you doing? Well, this is the last time that I will allow you to say that you love her. <laughs> Cassidy, be brave. I love you. Don't... Don't fight her. Just do whatever she wants. Hopefully she'll let you go. You know that won't happen. <laughs> He said that he loves you, which makes you the competition. No, no, let me go. You're hurting her. Stop squeezing her like that. Pounding on my hand won't help you any. I'm going to keep no. squishing no. and squishing. And you, Jake, are going to watch. As I squeeze the life out of your little plaything. <laughs> Stop squeezing her. I can't breathe. Fine. You want me to stop squeezing her? Hmm. Eclipse? <laughs> mm. Her head's rolling around on my tongue now. <laughs> you, you didn't. Oh. I, I say you bite towards her. <laughs> Let me just drop her body in <gasps> front of you. <laughs> what the fuck did you do? You won't love anyone other than me. Cassidy! <laughs> you are a goddamn psycho. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want her head? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh, is her lifeless, scared stare toward you freaking you out? <laughs> Why would you do this? To prove how much I love you. By biting someone's head off? Well, you said you loved her. I couldn't have that. She's... was... my girlfriend. Yeah, but I am now. I can't have you loving someone else when we're together. Look. I don't know what the hell you're playing at. But at least let Sean go. Obviously I get it. I don't have a goddamn choice. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. I just let my friend go. I'll just do whatever kind of sick fucking fantasy you want me to be a part of. Hmm. Well. Fine. What the hell was that? <laughs> I just knocked his mason jar off the shelf and watched him plummet down. I can't even see from here. Is he okay? Why, why would you do... I told you to help him. What is wrong with you? Well, the glass is shattered all over the floor and he's dragging his body through the grass shards. <laughs> if you love me so much, you fucking psycho, pick him up and help him. With that attitude? How 
dare you speak to me such a way? You don't speak to your girlfriend like that. You bit Cassidy's head off. Yeah, because you said you loved her. You told me to. I said it was the last time that you might be able to. <sighs> and you said it. <laughs> what else was I supposed to do? Just please. I'm begging. Just help Sean. I'll help him. What are you doing? I'm helping him. Why are you putting your foot over top of him? <laughs> well... It's better to just get it over with. <laughs> you heard the crunch of the glass, right? He's okay, isn't he? Now. You... You stepped on him. Mm-hmm. He's not suffering anymore. You asked me to help him. And I did. I put him out of his misery. I don't know what else to say. Everything I say just ends in you hurting someone. Why do you look so defeated? Why Why are you so... I, I did this for us. Is Megan still okay? Of course. As long as she doesn't say anything, she'll be fine. Okay. Wh what do you want me to do? I don't want you to do anything. I want us to be together, that's all. How can we be together if I'm this size? Well, those are negotiable terms. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure as long as you're, you know, in this room, you can be regular sized. But other than that, I won't allow it. And then you can just shrink me anytime you want. Mm-hmm. Because I can't let people know. Okay, Eclipse. I accept. <laughs> Great. I'll go cook us some dinner. You're, you're gonna leave me here? Oh, thank God you're picking me up. No, I'm grabbing Cassidy. I don't want you to look at her while you're here. That would just be traumatizing. You, you can't just leave me here in this jar. I think I'll make a roast. You can't cook her. Sure I can. <laughs> don't just leave me here. Come back. <laughs> Come back. Hey, little ones. Just a little quick blurb asking how you liked the story. Uh, if you guys have any, you know ideas that you want to hear played out, just let us know in the comments below. <laughs> we have lots of different characters that we can make, and we hope you liked it. <laughs> See you in the next video.